Hello! We are here at EDTA conference in New York City! Look! Ah. So we're very excited to be here and we got off the train yesterday and we're going to uh, talk to you about all the shows that we're seeing while we're here at the conference. And we got off the train, we went right over to TKTS, which is right over my shoulder. And we got tickets for the 39 Steps. Now, this was one that I was very interested in. It was on Broadway for two years, and now it's in an off-Broadway theater. And it's got a really neat uh, catch to it. It is the, the story of The 39 Steps, which was originally a Hitchcock uh, movie. <laughs> a Hitchcock what? What? A movie, which is a mystery. A man is falsely accused of murder, and he's chased to Scotland and back again. But the great thing about uh, the play is that it is insanely theatrical. Only four actors play all the parts, um, and that's what Craig's going to talk about. Yes, so it's just uh, one actor who plays one role, that's our dashing uh, hero, and then the other three actors, two guys and a girl, play all the other people that he meets in the play. From femme fatales, to policemen, to people who help him hide out, to people who are hunting him down. And um, what's really, really wonderful about, about the play, and really, really important for high schools and all directors to see, is how simply and elegantly everything is staged. Now, the character transitions weren't done off stage in blackness there are most of them are done on stage just by adding a hat removing a hat putting another hat on and so forth a chair in somebody's house becomes a chair in somebody else's house becomes a chair in the next house a door is rolled on somebody knocks on it opens the door they flip the door around and all of a sudden we're magically inside the house a train is created just by some lights above flickering in a direction and the actors bouncing with the movement of the train uh, a storm uh, is created just by a, a windy sound effect and the actors reacting to the wind. And I think that is uh, just an absolutely wonderful example of theater and theatricality and how theatricality doesn't mean technology, it means uh, uh, creative imagination. And that's what I took away from the show. Lindsay, what did you take away? I have to say, that train moment was one of my absolute favorites. They sat on steamer trunks, the, it was just light and sound and fog, and it always amazes me how often um, the high school students that I meet, they think that theater needs to be flash and dash and have all that technology, the same technology that movies does, and it absolutely doesn't. Now having said that, I, the thing that I, that I took away from it is that the actors didn't as far as they were, I don't know if they were directed this way or the show has evolved this way, they didn't trust the story they were telling. They didn't trust the, th the theater techniques that they were using. And more often than not, they came out of the show and it was kind of like, see how clever we're being? Look, we're making a train out of a steamer trunk. And that really, it really took away something from my experience. I wish they had just trusted the story, trusted the techniques, and just left me in the world of the play instead of um, yanking me out of it uh, every five minutes or so. Okay, so that's it. That was the 39 steps. Uh, and tuned. tonight we're, we don't know what we're seeing. Tonight we don't know what we're seeing. Tomorrow we're seeing a little light music, um, but stay tuned.